Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Hidayah. We meet again. How is it going? Are you ready for English lesson year for module 3 in the past? Let's get started. Before we start, I want you to ready your anthropology of poems book and look for the poem Sand Castle. Today we are focusing on language art and speaking skills. So are you ready? Sand Castle. I built a house one afternoon with bucket, cup and fork and spoon. Then scooped a shovel full of shore on top to add the second floor. But when the fingers of the sea reached up and waved a wave to me, it tumbled down like dominoes and disappeared between my toes by J. Patrick Lewis. Okay, now I want you to repeat after me. Ready? Sand Castle. I built a house. One afternoon with bucket, cup, and fork and spoon. Then scooped a shovel full of shore on top to add the second floor. But when the fingers of the sea reached up and waved a wave to me, it tumbled down like dominoes and disappeared between my toes by J. Patrick Lewis. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now we look at the vocabulary. Do you understand the poem that we read just now? Okay. So we, have, uh, we will discuss the vocabulary that we found in the poem. Okay, number one is bucket. So this is a bucket. Number two, cup. Next is fork and spoon. So we use fork and spoon when we eat. Next. Scooped. So scoops means scoops is an action verb. So you use this thing to scoop something. You scoop ice cream, scooped sand. So this is scooped. You use this thing to scoop something. Okay. Next is shovel full of shore. So this blue thing is a shovel. Shovel full. So the shovel is full. Of shore with the sand. Shore means the beach. Here, this area, the beach. So the blue colored here is the sea, and then the sand area here is the shore. So shovel full of shore is the shovel is full of the sand. Okay, next is wave. Okay, continue. So tumble down. Tumble down, tumble down means, look at this picture, the sandcastle is already broken, coming down. So, tumble down means it's already coming down, broken. Next is dominoes. So, this is what we call dominoes. Have you seen the dominoes effect somewhere in the internet or on TV? So, if one fall, the rest follows until the end, okay? So that is this is what we call dominoes. Next is disappeared. Poof. Have you seen a cartoon like this? Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Disappeared. Next, the last one. Toes. So do you have toes? I do have toes. What about you? Okay, continue. Task 1. 
So we have read the poem just now. So what you need to do for today is thinking map. Have you done a thinking map before? I'm sure you have. So this is a circle map. It consists of uh, the middle circle, smaller circle in the middle, and then the outer circle. And last one is the square frame. You must have the square frame. Okay, so the middle circle, you must write topic here. And then the outer circle is everything I know. The information about the topic. And the frame, the square frame here is where you write how or where did I learn this. So how and how or where you know the information that you root here. So let's look at the example. The topic in the middle is at the beach. So the outer circle here is what you know, everything that you know about the beach. Sandcastle, beautiful, seashells, swimming, floats, picnic, jellyfish and everything. So everything you know about the beach, you write in here. So this, the square map, the square frame is where you write where and how you know the, you learn the information here. So maybe you learn from the internet, you watch it on the television, you read from magazine and books, or better yet, you have been to the beach, trip to the beach. So that is why you know the information here. Okay. Next is, there are two types of thinking map. The first one is the circle map and the second one is the mind map. Okay, so you can draw a picture here. So the picture being drawn here is a sand castle. So as usual, the topic is in the middle at the beach. So there are two parts, part A and part B. So uh, on part B, you write everything you know about the beach. And then on part A, you write how or where did I learn this? Let's look at the example. Like this. So part B, you write all the information that you know at the beach. And then here part, sorry, part A, you write all the information. And part B, you write where you learn it from. Okay, so which mind map that you prefer? The circle one or this type of mind map. Next, task two. Letter to a friend. You have to write a letter. Okay, what you need to do is, number one, read the letter and substitute the pictures forward. So this is the template of the letter. You have to substitute the pictures. Can you see the pictures? So change the pictures towards, for example, my dear Lina, how are you? Last holidays, I had a wonderful time at the beach. I built a house with a bucket, cup, fork and spoon. Then I scooped a shovel full of shore to add the second floor. But when the finger of the sea reached up and waved at me, my house tumbled down like dominoes and disappeared between my toes. I felt very sad. I'm going to the beach again to build my house. This time it will be strong and beautiful. Come and join me, your friend. So write your name here. Okay, after you have done, completed the letter, number two, you have to read your letter aloud. Okay, next. Summary of today's lesson. What do you need to do? First, do the thinking map. You can choose to do the circle map or the sandcastle map up to you. Choose one. You prefer this or you prefer the mind map. And then you write all the information that you know. You do not necessarily that you follow the example given. You can use your own words. Okay. This is task number one. Task number two. You have to complete this letter 
read the letter and sub substitute the pictures forwards. After you have completed the letter, you must record yourself reading your completed letter aloud. Okay, first complete the letter and then record yourself reading your letter. Right, can you do that? So that's all for today. See you in next class. Bye.